All right, it's time to show you guys something. Hello everyone, I am Paul with Many Voices and this was supposed to be a mega long bonus episode where I would build or rebuild the entire prison from start to finish, from scratch yet again, this time using grants as I saw fit, even as I'll show you, going as far as taking in $250,000 in loan. Uh, I can do one more grant, but since I'm in the process of uh, building death row and criminally insane i thought i would wait until i could start the criminally insane grant there we go before uh continuing on uh the intention was kind of like uh episode one of the going green uh prison where i would just build a bit speed up and uh build a bit sped up talk a bit then speed up more for more build and then uh, talk more but uh while a lot has happened in this prison, um, for instance, a change that I've gone through is I'm now using Savada Eknova as uh, my warden rather than Rita to see whether or not uh, prisoners were more likely to pass programs since they weren't suppressed as much thanks to me not having Rita. The answer is yes, kind of, but also no. Um, as you can see, these are the only grants that I still have left. I uh, have done uh, a second or even a third overproduction. <laughs> uh, but... Where is it? Yes, I have done this, of course. Uh, carpentry apprenticeship has been completed. I have one person who passed the carpentry program. Well, seven have finished and currently two are taking it. But uh, I have made enough bets to uh, at least get the grant done. But that prisoner has been released by now, I believe. So it's still not getting done. I also have a lot more um, uh, protective custody inmates. Of course, the spooky tree inside. Uh, mothers, I haven't really been paying attention to it much. Mothers can become uh, maximum security prisoners, as you can see. And I've built all of this without going much into flooring. Uh, but despite the fact that I have uh, used grants, I was still struggling enough that I decided at the end, let's go take a $250,000 loan. Uh, green energy goals, as you can see, we are currently at 4%. Only one person has passed the... Uh, Solar panel development. Nobody has passed the uh, re re reformed prisoner consultation, so that grant hasn't been done. And despite the fact that we are at day 40, uh, 64, we have uh, 65 prisoners reformed already. So this will just take a little bit longer before uh, this 25,000 would be mine. But sadly, also. Uh, only four prisoners have passed foundation education. One has finished general education, but no one has passed. So I'd say that not using Rita was beneficial for me in terms of reform. But the prison has become more violent. 11% uh, as you see death in custody too. Prisoners escaped five. All because of this of course and i have gone as far in the last hour of real life to activate a few mutators just to hopes in the hopes that this would speed up things uh reduce dirt build up not really necessary but fast deliveries of spectral staff no more waiting for trucks everything arrives directly in your prison as long as you have space for it and fast walking so that, you know, stuff gets moved around faster. Also, I've uh, removed the splitting between deliveries and exports and storage. Uh, as this area is going to be storage or what's going to be storage, I'm, I've actually spent so incredibly long on this. Let's see if I can show that to you as well. No, I mean this. I started this on October 4th or uh, August 4th. And as you can see, speed up first take, prep staff room, speed up staff room. I have recorded up to uh, 
well this is part 55 technically but this is gonna be part one uh, yes there is a massive gap in between the 8th and the 28th it's been excruciatingly busy at work again the vacations for the construction uh, people is over so that just means that it that they get back to work and they need stuff so work gets busier but uh, <clears throat> yeah logistically this uh, this place is a nightmare this is what is plaguing me on a constant basis even though I have helipads it's just that the trucks just get lined up with only one item two items nothing at all one item nothing at all staff meals filling up deliveries hence why I doubled the size of the deliveries uh, storage is gone and garbage is now part of the southern exports but uh, yeah th this this place I I've spent already so much time in it, I thought to myself, I'm going to finish it. But seeing as how long I was waiting uh, for just the deliveries of the pipes, I started this on day 60. And four days later, only now I'm getting in the cables and the pipes. And up until that point, that was day 60 when the construction of this area was done. And from day 60 until day 64 it has been nothing but staff meal or one box of staff meal one bag of fertilizer one bag of uh, crops nothing nothing one bag of crops one bag of fertilizer one one unit of uh, staff meals all the time and it pisses me off really double eleven go fix your fucking logistics in this game even with the helipads you shouldn't have a truck deliver just one roll of cable one unit of staff meal one bag of fertilizer or crops just fill up the trucks right away fix your game god damn it so this is really what, what pisses me off. Also just to show you, uh, I did indeed uh, change the layout of the cells individually. So the, the dormitories here, these two have luxury beds. These two have regular beds, but pillows, those two as well. Uh, for some stupid reason, prisoners don't take showers. Don't ask me why. Really, don't. Uh, this place doesn't even have flooring yet. Uh, something that I wanted to show off still is that you can make a staff canteen and the only way you, uh, the only way to do that is to have a staff only area and designate that room as a regular canteen and because it's a staff only area it will designate itself automatically to a staff canteen now a staff canteen will be hooked up to a kitchen right away so if you have a staff room and a staff canteen like I have the staff will still occasionally choose to eat in the staff room area and they'll drop their stuff there but as long as you don't connect the kitchen to the staff room then the garbage is just gonna build up so once again automatically have this hook up to the staff room double eleven these are things that should be easily fixable this is something that should have been fixed ages ago why do I have to do it myself without even knowing it? It's stupid. So yeah, I am officially done with the Grandless Gal playthrough. I am not going to upload this uh, on the Steam Workshop. You have the two versions already. The one without the grants done to prove that I have. And the one with grants done, uh, which was the bonus episode. So yeah, I've done my... Uh, a very nasty video that I wanted to do where I had the canteen outside in the middle of the endless winter prison and saw that my prisoners froze to death while being forced to spend 24 hours outside to eat. I think I'm done with this prison. Um, now that I have a better understanding on the uh, size requirements of the uh, bakery, meeting room and restaurant, what I could do uh, load prison, 
let us there's a lot, lot of prison I haven't loaded up in quite a while island bound or the all our all DLC archipelago let's see what I could potentially do if if I was thinking about bringing this person into the second chances DLC as well I could make a meeting room in here obviously so let us just set that in room designations restaurant meeting room could do that right here like so I could give the maximum security access to I believe three strikes training which is in the classroom yes and they have a psychologist so I could give maximum security as well as minimum security access to three strikes training where I could then also give uh, medium security access to three strikes program because that happens in a common room now if I were to add a meeting room in here that means I would have to shrink down the uh, solitary here yet again or this is only four wide I would have to move this door over to there, close off this, and then it would be five wide. I could have a meeting room in here and remove the shower. Possible. So that they would have uh, animal therapy, and then meeting room here would have animal therapy and some other stuff. As for here, of course, this area, minimum security, they would get the bakery. They would get the, uh, the the restaurant and of course the meeting room. A restaurant needs to be at least five by five, but I don't think I have the space for that. <laughs> uh, I could remove the. Well, actually, I do have the space for that if I were to remove this, because let's see how big this is. This is 20 by 10. So if I do 9 by 10 and 11 by 10, I could make one the bakery. The, the smaller one, I would make the bakery. The bigger one, I would make the restaurant. Yeah. Where would I end up throwing the meeting room? I could sacrifice one of my paroles. Yeah. Yeah, I could. Well, I guess it's decided then. All DLC Archipelago is coming back. I will... give protective custody a meeting room as well. They'll enter through the laundry. So I'll throw in the door right here and wall off this bit and make this the meeting room. This will be a meeting room then. Not that we're going to use it yet, but of course it exists. And with that... I hope to see you all next time for the return of the all DLC archipelago. Now introducing second chances as well. Uh, just a second before I really fully quit. Let's see what the size of this thing is. This is at least six, I believe. Yes. Then. I think the meeting room for these guys will be moved to here instead. 
So we'll throw a door. Really quick, quick build there. A door. In here. Wall this up. And then call this a meeting room as well. Meeting room there. They have a meeting room. They have a meeting room, which is uh, way too big. I said I would make the meeting room here then. Move this door over to yonder. And then in planning, wall this up. Is that correct? Yes. And then this would no longer be a staff door, but a regular door. Well, I could make, I could leave this as a staff door, and I shut this in, uh, closed entirely. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Well. <laughs> I would have thought that I could figure out a way to get the old DLC Archipelago expanded in another DLC. I really hope though that Double Eleven stops with the use with the DLCs because this really can't take it anymore, and I really want them to fix the goddamn issues with logistics and all of the other stuff that annoys us. I'm Paul with many voices. Once again, my apologies for the uh, lack of a bonus video. Uh, that I promised you guys. But the Grandless Gal playthrough is now officially uh, done. Uh, thank you all for watching, and next time we return to all DLC Archipelago. Goodbye.